nothing. An empty void. Doesn't even fill a space. It's just nothing. Nothing there, nothing to see. And that's pretty much how this race felt. What's going on, guys? It's Nock. Welcome along to the Monaco Grand Prix. And, um, yeah, as we look at the standings, we are currently sat in a ninth position in the championship with 11 points. One point clear of Estefan Ocon and three points clear of Nico Hulkenberg. With our teammate down in 14th with two whole points. Yes, this is Monaco. This is the race I have been dreading and fearing for a very, very long time. Because I am not very good around Monaco, I'll be honest. I'll be out of practice and you've got to be on the ball to get around here without smashing up your car completely as you see this is the um track acclimatization test and i am just absolutely bouncing off the walls left right and center and i think this is probably going to be terminal damage right here yep there we go oh near enough well i went back to the pits anyway and um yeah we didn't pass many of the um track um things in this one unfortunately um back on the acclimatization we did actually get green in that in the end we didn't get a green which I'm quite surprised about. I couldn't think about that. And, um, yeah, it was a real struggle for me to pin together more than, like, two or three laps at a time as we failed the tire wear test, which is very rare for us, as you guys will know. We normally always pass the tire wear, uh, tire wear tests. And um, I think probably the same with the fuel, because it, I just ultimately we just could not get the pace, and we just go massively careering on there, smashing another wing. And um, as with Spain, the team is going to need to... Um, invest in lots more front wings we'll for again, me sir. but um yeah as you see we finished practice in p17 really low down the order had no hopes for qualifying whatsoever so i actually what i did was i took a f whole new gearbox a whole new engine because you know what this um this was not going to be a very good race for me so yeah i'm actually um took an extra one so i'm on now like my fifth gearbox um just thought hey why not you know what it's just man as well nothing's gonna happen but yeah this is quali and um, as you can see, we're hitting the barriers. We are smashing wings off, losing downforce. Um, I should probably brand this as playing Destruction Derby rather than um, Formula One. But yeah, we did manage to put a lap in before um, you know hitting the barrier and damaging the wing even more. But um, yeah, um, what, what more can you say? I, I knew this was going to be an absolute struggle for me. Um, still not feeling very confident when this has I didn't really find a good setup so um, it was never going to be great but um, it's across the line yeah p20 rock rock bottom I just was always taking far too much speed into turn one right there but let's look at the grid anyway guys for the Monaco Grand Prix so starting off in pole is Daniel Ricciardo with Nico Hulkenberg in second we then have in third when it loads Roman Grosjean will take p3 with Sergio Perez in fourth in 5th place, we have Carlos Sainz, Vettel is 6th, Raikkonen is 7th, Lewis Hamilton is 8th, Bottas is 9th, Fernando Alonso 10th, Max Verstappen 11th, Stoff Van Dorn 12th, Lance Stroll 13th, Pascal Verlein 14th, Philippe Mass 15th, Candy Fiat 16th, Esteban Ocon 17th, myself 18th, Mark Saracen 19th, and Julian Palmer brings up the rear in 20th. So we got pushed up because of a couple of grid penalties, but lots and lots of grid penalties here for absolutely everyone. Anyway, here we go with the start of the Monaco Grand Prix. And I was just like, you know what? I'm going to take it really tentative. Stay out of everybody's way. If people want to go past me, that's fine. A little bit of contact there with Palmer. Palmer came kind of into me a little bit and blocked me off. But you know what? I'm not even going to bother fighting it too hard. I do try and go around the outside, but I actually clipped the barrier. And um, yeah, we're just going to follow him up the hill now and settle into a race, which I'm pretty sure was going to be all on my own because I was not feeling confident around here whatsoever at all. But um, hey... As long as we can string a couple of laps together, I guess, we'll be good, right? Who knows? People might retire, etc., etc. But yeah, looking at here in the first corner down at the, uh, the Lowe's hairpin, it's just absolutely... I might as well just run, you know? I was just like, hmm, come on, I'm not going to put my foot on the accelerator until you guys go. It's just so slow around there on lap one as we um, exit and enter the tunnel area here. So it's through the tunnel we go, following Palmer, but we are already losing ground, uh, which I didn't surprise me at all. I can't say I'm actually pushing that hard right now. I am more just about, you know, let's try and keep it, and I just went west of too deep. That's the breaking point but totally, and got a penalised for corner cutting, uh, which lets them extend their gap in front of me even more. So, um, yeah, all in all, first lap, we did keep out of trouble mainly, but uh, we have totally lost the... Uh, lost pace with the uh, the guys in front too wide into there too fast i just need to be more 
I need more confidence around Monaco. I need to be more confident in the fact that I can, you know, throw it towards the barrier and um, try and, um, you know, take the corners better. Anyway, that was lap one we, where we hit the barrier right at the end. We did manage to keep it together for a total of um, eight laps, and then it all went horribly wrong on lap eight. Um, we go through here, uh, hit the ball on the outside, and then try and get the power down here. Took the curve on the inside, spun the car, hit the barrier, and that was terminal damage. That was our race over. But um, I was quite happy that I actually survived eight laps around Monaco. But um, on a more serious note, not a good day at the office. No points for us. No points we scored for the team either. Um, just rock bottom last and a damaged car to boot. So, um, yeah, sorry to the, the, the Haas guys. Um, but, hey, you win some, you lose some. So, uh, Daniel Ricciardo won, won from Kimi Raikkonen in second, Lewis Hamilton third, and our teammate Roman Grosjean scored one point in 10th position, closing the gap by a point to us. Looking at the standings, Kimi Raikkonen still leads with Lewis Hamilton and Bottas in second and third. We are moved down to 10th place. Nico Hülkenberg has moved ahead of us now with uh, 14 points. And um, it seems like Roman Grosjean isn't in the top 13 anymore. Anyway, looking at the constructors, Renault move above us, uh, but we are tied on points. Uh, I guess that's on a finish. So, um, yeah, close battle between us and Renault at the moment. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Until the Canadian Grand Prix, I've been Nock, you've been awesome. Happy gaming.